So unless you've been living under a rock for the last year, you've probably heard all of the talk about Bitcoin. It seems you can't turn on the television or open a news, uh, a news site, specifically tech news, um, and not hear about Bitcoin. It was even featured on the uh, television show The Good Wife last week, um, or they talked about something similar to Bitcoin and uh, got people really interested in it. But it looks like a lot of people are still confused by what Bitcoin is and why they should care. So that's why we're doing this video. I want to tell you what Bitcoin is and why you should care. So let's look at what Bitcoin is, first of all. So Bitcoin is an anonymous, decentralized, peer-to-peer -peer currency. So in essence, it's kind of like the money that you have in your pocket now, like the dollars or the euros or whatever it is in your country that you happen to use as money. Um, but, and it has a lot of the same characteristics as money, as cash. It's, it's anonymous. You can transfer it from person to person fairly easily. Um, it, it's easy to, um, it's easy to shuffle, uh, from person to person without all sorts of different, uh, uh legal paperwork or, or, uh, legal hassle. Um, and, and so in that respect, it's a lot like cash, but in the way that it's not like cash is really important. First of all, it can't be controlled by any central authority. Like here in the United States, we have an organization called the Federal Reserve, uh, which is our central bank, and that controls the issuing of currency. So every time new dollars are, are, are pushed out into the market, uh, that comes from the Federal Reserve. And most countries have something similar. Like, you know, there, there's a, there, each, each country out there has a central bank, um, and that bank controls the issuing of currency. Now, that doesn't sound like a bad thing in and of itself, but the problem come in to, it comes in when that bank also exercises regulatory control of that currency. So they can inflate or deflate the value of that currency, and they can they can wildly print new currency, uh, which which uh, deflates the value of it or inflates the value of it, and uh, and makes it makes it worthless or devalues it rather is the word that I'm looking for. Um, and, and that's all a problem with cash and other what's called fiat currencies, meaning currencies that aren't really backed by anything. Um, Bitcoin, on the other hand, is not controlled by anybody. Nobody issues Bitcoins. In fact, you can, you can issue your own Bitcoins. You can uh, run a program on your computer uh, that will uh, generate Bitcoins, and you become your own bank, in essence. You store your Bitcoins on your computer or on a flash drive or on a CD or wherever you want to wherever you want to store them. Um, and you can create your own Bitcoin. So in essence, you become your own mint and it's totally legal. Try going and printing some US dollars and using them and see what happens. So in essence, Bitcoin is the perfect currency because I can transfer Bitcoins anonymously anywhere in the world. There's no conversion because there's, I mean, a Bitcoin is a Bitcoin. You don't have to convert a Bitcoin to anything else. Like if I pay, let's say somebody in Europe uh, with a US dollar, they've got to convert it to a euro or a pound or a franc or whatever it is that they, they happen to use um, to be able to use that, that money in any meaningful way within the country. With Bitcoin, you can use a Bitcoin directly anywhere in the world. You don't have to convert it, so you don't have, uh, you don't have the currency conversion fees, you don't have um, all of the headaches that go with, with transferring uh, currency from one form to another. It, it's perfect. Um, of course, the anonymity is really great. That's true with cash to a degree. Um, Bitcoin amps that up in that it allows me to do, it allows you to do uh, web commerce, like transactions over the internet completely anonymously, and nobody has to know who you are. Now, Bitcoin can't be inflated. There's only going to be a, a specific number of them ever created. That's going to be 21 million. After that, no new Bitcoins are going to be creative and uh, created, and the uh, the economy is going to kind of grow by transferring Bitcoins from person to person. Um, but you can have trillions of dollars in Bitcoin because it can be divided down to the eighth decimal place. So, like now, where you have um, you've got like you know two dollars and eighty five cents. We generally um, we generally divide our currency um, down two decimal places. Well, with Bitcoin, you can go down to eight decimal places. Um, so really, you can have trillions of trillions of dollars um, represented in, in simply that eight uh, decimal place, uh, that eight, those eight decimal places. So Bitcoin is really a fantastic currency for world trade, like trading between countries, trading between individuals and countries. Um, and like I said, it's anonymous and it's free. You can generate your own Bitcoins. You don't have to buy them, although you can. 
Uh, you don't have to, uh, you know, you don't have to, to to do work to get them. Although you certainly can do that too, and that's the probably the, one of the easiest ways: buying them and working for them. Uh, but you can you can set up your computer to mine them yourself and create them. So you, a lot of people ask, okay, so what backs Bitcoin? And you know, because I complain a lot to people that I talk to about the U.S. dollar and and most other currencies aren't backed by anything, so they're called fiat currencies. And the question could be, well, what backs uh, Bitcoin? And that's a really good question. And the, the answer is nothing. Um, so in a sense, it is kind of like a fiat currency, except the other the other definition or the other definition part of a fiat currency is that it's generally controlled by someone, right? So in in Europe and in America and in most countries, you've got central banks that control the currency, and it gets its value by decree. In other words, a dollar is worth a certain amount because the government says that it's worth that amount. Essentially, a, a dollar bill is, is worth the paper it's printed on. That's it. Um, it has no intrinsic value. Bitcoin uh, has a value because of what the market places on it, and it can't be controlled. And, and so, it, in, an, in essence, it's really kind of like saying, well, what backs gold? Well, nothing backs gold. Gold backs itself because of scarcity and, and not being controlled by a central authority. Um, and Bitcoin is a lot like gold in that way. It's been compared to gold in that way, in that there's scarcity. You know, there's only going to be a certain amount of gold ever discovered, and there's only going to be a certain amount of Bitcoins ever made. Um, but it's also not controlled, and it backs itself, so to speak. So if you're thinking that I'm just all over the place in explaining this, I am, right? So if you want to find out more about Bitcoin and how you can start trading them and creating them and buying them and using them, go to weusecoins.org. And that has a great video that's been explained a lot better than what I'm doing right here. So it's www.weusecoins.org. Um, and you can look down there and there should be um, the website. But uh, get involved with Bitcoin. It's great. It's fantastic. It, it allows it allows free people to trade like free people. It can't be controlled. You don't have to answer to a government for it. And it allows you to live in a true free market society where you, you don't have to answer to anybody. So, um, yeah, definitely check out Bitcoin. Uh, you can find out uh, more about Bitcoin um, and, and also to by going to WeUseCoins.org. But you can download the Bitcoin program and uh, start participating in the community at Bitcoin.com or Bitcoin.org. Um, go there and you'll find uh, uh, programs that will run for Bitcoin on uh, for Mac and Linux and Windows and all that. And there's also a great community that you can join and begin discussing it and asking questions. Um, so, yeah, start at WeUseCoins.org. Learn about Bitcoin, uh, then go grab the program at Bitcoin.org and uh, start making your own Bitcoins or buy a couple of them and start using them in trade. Um, and the more people that do that, the more valuable Bitcoin will become and the more merchants will accept it and the more, uh, the more mainstream it will become until it's going to be a great thriving economy. So, um, yeah, go check it out. And if you have any questions, I know I did horrible at explaining it uh, in this video. Feel free to ask questions in the comments, and I'll do my best to answer them. Um, but like I said, take a visit at weusecoins.org. Um, it should answer most of your questions. Um, and thanks a lot.